Welcome back to our concept building design video series. In this video, we're going to review how to make buildings from imagined shape surfaces. So I've gone into our building space planning application. And what we need to do is create a few bodies. And in those bodies, we're going to close our imagined shape surfaces. I made three bodies, one for each surface that we've modeled. And I'll name them short solid, mid solid, and tall solid. By right clicking on short solid, I can define that as my in work object. And in the geometry tab, there's a close surface command. I click on that. And you can see a solid body has been formed inside of my body. I'll do the same with the mid solid and the tall solid. Define a work object, close surface body. And now I have three solid volumes to make my building mass. I'll make the pedestal first. So I double click on my building and I have a building massing command. I click that command, I select my volume, and now I can control some of the parameters that define the number of stories, the slab thickness, the height. When I select OK, underneath my building assembly, Building Space Planning has created a shell and core part, or a 3D shape. It's also created one story product for each level in my building. It's also created elevation planes that I can use to reference sketches or other ge supporting geometry when I'm modeling my building. Here you see the base massing solid that's been taken from the driver product and placed inside the building to use as a massing reference. Next, I'm going to mass the towers. I double click on my building product to activate that product, and then I click on the building massing button again. When I select the tall solid, it's going to measure that I have approximately 31 stories. I can again change the parameters based on my slab thickness and story height. And when I click OK, I have a shell and core for my tower again, with all of those elevation planes that I can reference later. I also have stories 1 through 31. And those story products are going to contain geometry like doors and windows and walls as I further develop this product. Next, I'll mask the second volume. And you'll see that the properties and parameters from my previous massing are still good. I won't change any of those. And now finally, I'll mask the midsection. When I click OK, oh, I had an error. And the reason I had this error is because the masses were not intersecting. They were overlapping on surfaces. So I'm going to go back and change that mid-solid body. I'm going to make it equal to the full imagine and shape surface. That way the building space planning algorithm that combines these surfaces into one mass can do the Boolean itself. I'll go back to my building, execute an update, and you'll see the error has gone away. Here you see in the massing, the tall, mid, and short solid have been incorporated into my building mass. I still have all of this driver geometry and construction geometry visible, so I'll hide some of that to clean up the view. And I'll add a, a roof to each one of these masses. One of the reasons we did separate masses is so that we can apply roofs to each mass individually. If I had massed all of these bodies together into one body and made one building with one mass, I could only add one roof. So in this case, the best practice to adding roofs to building masses is to add each mass individually to the building massing that you, where you want to add the roofs. So there's my roof on my base pedestal. Now 
Now I'll add two more roofs, one to each tower. So I double click on my tower building, then I can press the roof command, select my tall mass, change any parameters I like or keep though what I had. And I'll do again the same thing for the lower tower. I won't change any parameters, there you go. So now I have my building massings and I can go through and start to model my building project. At this point, don't forget to save.